they're moving on and they earned a good victory today and um, wish them well going forward. Real proud of our team. Uh, dug ourselves a big hole, fought hard to get out of it, weren't able to make it all the way back. But real proud of their effort and uh, it's been a special experience coaching them. Um, just real proud of our two seniors. They uh, battled through real adversity um, since the end of last season to really uh, spearhead an effort to create a true team. And that's what we were. We were a group of uh, flawed individuals that came together and our sum ended up being greater than our parts and that's a great great testament to these young women and um, I don't know that I've ever been prouder to be the coach of Kentucky to have had the honor of coaching this group so we are sad today but we'll hold our heads real high um, knowing that we have accomplished what every um, university that, that has a, a, a program, I think you would want to have a team at the end of it, and that's a, a tremendous accomplishment. It doesn't always happen, and it happened at Kentucky this year. So I'm real proud of our, our players that uh, became a really great team. We'll open it up with questions for our student athletes. If you could please remember to raise your hand and we'll bring you a microphone. Michaela, there were a couple of instances there in the second half. First off, you, um, you and your team are down 50 to 31. You get a couple transition, you get a couple transition baskets, and all of a sudden it's uh, a, a 17 or a 13 point uh, deficit. And that kind of started. It looked like that kind of jump started uh, your team. And then midway through the fourth quarter, you get that baseline jumper. It's a one point game. What's going through your mind in, uh, during that time? And what, you know, what were you thinking you needed to do to kind of help um, mount this comeback for your team? Um, you know, we dug ourselves a 15-point hole at the uh, half. But, um, you know, Coach told us that, you know, we, we, can, we can come back. So, you know, we wasn't in the locker room defeated. We might have been a little deflated, but we were never defeated um, going into the break. And, uh, you know, we just came out and just tried to attack them in transition. Transition's a really big part of our game. Um, and, you know, we got downhill. I got to the rim a couple of times. Everything started opening up for the per, uh, perimeter players in the inside. And then, you know, when we pulled within one, I was just like, keep attacking. And then we had a couple breakdowns, and, you know, we couldn't score on our end, you know, missed a couple free throws, and, you know, stuff like that happens. But, you know, I was never, um, you know, I never thought the team was out of it. You know, everybody kept their mentality uh, about on me. You know, nobody uh, was down early, even though we was down on the scoreboard big early. Kayla, what did you see happen sort of in the first half when they were able to grab that big lead? What were some of the things that maybe weren't going right for you guys? Um, <clears throat> just our, our scheme on Kelsey Mitchell. You know, she's a phenomenal player. Um, got a lot of respect for what she does and how she scores the basketball. And, uh, you know, she got hot early. Um, she jumped out to 10 quick points early. And, you know, they were uh, getting some offensive rebounds, some second chance points early, you know, just – Stuff that we did, how we, how we practice is not how we was playing early whenever they got that big lead on us. Any other questions? Any other questions for the student athletes? I promise this isn't to make you cry. I, your time at Kentucky and, and what it meant to you. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Um, I don't know I even know if I can put it into words. Um, you know, first off, thank Coach Mitchell um, immensely for giving me the opportunity to be here on that athletic scholarship. You know, those are not given. You got to earn those. So, um, you know, a lot of credit for him for, you know, believing in me and bringing me here to the University of Kentucky. And, uh, you know, my four years here were not easy. You know, um, it was not just a a joy ride the whole time. There were ups and downs. I had highs and lows. You know, there were moments where I didn't know if I was coming or going. And, you know, just him taking time out of his, his busy life, his day, being away from his family to just sit up in that office up there and just talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, you know, just get to know me better. And, uh, you know, that's, some, that's, that's phenomenal coaching to me if you just take the time and really get to know your players. And then my teammates. You know, especially this team this year, they made my senior year probably the best year, not probably, 
they made my senior year the best year here, you know. It's not the team that I started this thing out with, but it's the team I finished with. And like Coach Mitchell said, you know, even though we didn't get the win today, we were a team, you know, leaving Memorial Coliseum today. And, uh, you know, I'll never forget the, the players in the locker room, none of them. You know, Macy came and hugged me just a minute ago and was crying and told me that I'm the best teammate she's ever had and the best, one of the best people she's ever been around. So, you know, that means a lot to me. It's, it's more than just basketball. Basketball is not forever for me. But, you know, just to know that I've made an impact on a bunch of people's lives in my four years here means the world to me. Evan, I, I, Evan, I want to ask you the same question. Your time here in Kentucky, what it means to you and for both of you. Now that your careers here are over, obviously you'll take some time to think about moving on to the next level, that being the WNBA. And when will you actually start thinking about that? Um, well, I only spent two years here, and um, it's been the best two years of my life. Usually I'm not really close to um, coaches or head coaches per se, but um, Coach Michel really drew me closer to him and made me like her daughter, you know, and she, he he just told me and stuff. I well, I was able to open up to him. Usually, I don't open up. I kind of like to keep things to myself. But I think um, I could be able to handle stuff. But he found a way to um, get to me, which um, made me much more comfortable with him. And also my teammates. Um, I became so close to my teammates. And uh, open up to them. They know when I'm down, they know when something is wrong with me, and they try to like talk to me about it and just let it go. Uh, I mean, it's been um, a huge impact to my life, and, and they became family to me, you know. Two years of me staying here is like four years, you know. I, don't, I know I didn't know my four years of me can talk, but it's been like I've been here forever, you know. Like I always say, Kentucky is my home away from home, and I will never forget that. So. Evelyn, um, I'll give you a second here, just uh, if you want to get a drink. But, um, but wanted to ask you what it was like um, in the paint today. Uh, Ohio State obviously had some size. Um, but you were in there battling. You ended up with uh, 20, 23 rebounds. Uh, you know what was going through your mind as you were battling their post players and in, in you know on both ends of the court. Um, like offensively, I would say I kind of like struggled a little bit with my finishes. Um, as far as the first half of the game, I was um, taking quick shots, not uh, being patient, and uh, that really hurt my game and. I think I still did the same thing during the second half of the game, but I mean, it's a game we need and we need and we needed to win. So I just kind of hang my head, and um, I if I can't score offensively, I can't. I mean, I can't let that affect me my rebounding. I just have to keep rebounding and then looking for the people like Michaela who's really hurt. So I mean, I was just going for the rebound because they bigger players, and if I don't go for rebounds. Or my team, we don't, we don't, we don't go for rebound. They're gonna um, out rebound us. So I just have to like keep pushing. Offensively, go over, over. And uh, one of the scouts, the scouts we did is that um, they don't rebound, they don't box out, and we use that to our advantage. If there are no more questions, then the student athletes can be dismissed. Open it up with questions.